Insomnia. Welcome back to another YouTube reaction video. This is Unbeaten Reacts. Welcome back to my channel. I'm the channel host. You can call me Namu. Welcome here. And after a long, long time, I'm reacting to Dreamcatcher a bit because today I was like, uh, yesterday night I was planning ahead. Everyone plans ahead. Get on it. But I was planning ahead on what reaction should I do today and I like did not see any other new releases. So I was like, yeah man, let's just jump into this, let's just jump into some Dreamcatcher and react to this amazing, amazing and sort of surprising uh, cover or surprising song or surprising video which they posted because I really did not know, I really don't know that they do stuff like this which is really, really cool that they do but I was like kind of ignorant to this but now I know. So today I'm reacting to a cover by Dami or Dami, how is she pronounced? Dami or Dami? It's, I think it's Dami. Uh, but Dami of Dreamcatcher has done a cover of a western artist, a western song called Rockabye. Rockabye was sort of like my jam like maybe three or four years ago before I like jumped into K-pop majorly. I used to listen to like Rockabye and like Ariana Grande, Dua Lipa, stuff like that. So I'm super super excited because she actually Dami is like a rapper or a main rapper of Dreamcatcher but I don't know I guess this is gonna be really really epic. So I'm super super excited so without any further ado let's just jump into this let's go here we go Ooh, I, I miss this beat I miss this melody it's been a long time since I've listened to like western songs Ooh, yep. wow they actually filmed like a lot of they actually took a lot of effort into this Ooh. oh Okay, Dami. Ooh, her voice is so, her voice is so coarse. You know what I mean? It is not that deep, but rather it's more coarser. It's more raw. Ooh. Oh, that slight accent on her English is also so beautiful. Ooh. Ooh, hitting those high notes, let's go. She also looks so beautiful. I mean, Dami has that like cross personality, duality, whatever in K-pop it is called. Like when she's like performing Boka, she's insanely charismatic and insanely, you know, powerful. But right here, she's looking so innocent, so pure in that white dress. She also has this like sort of darker, more almond kind of skin color, which is also ooh, ee, which is also really cool. Wow, I love this voice, man. This is so good. This is a really well-made music video or video, not a music video, cover video. Like they like put a lot of effort into filming this and stuff. The song is song is one brilliant song though. Clean Bandit made a masterpiece and, and it blew up actually, I don't remember. But it has a ton of views on YouTube and stuff. Ooh. This can be like a wallpaper or something. Oh don't you cry. I'm sorry. Pa 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 Ooh, butterfly. She, she has one hell of a duality, I bet, I bet she's like in those K-pop duality montages and stuff, fan-made videos and stuff, along with like Lisa and Soyon or whatever. Really, really well made, really, really well sung, Dami, wow, let's go. Freaking nuts. Now, I do know that most of the K-pop rappers or so-called rappers in a K-pop group are actually really, really underrated and really, really, you know, mysteriously good vocals because because there is a reason for it. You know, most of the K-pop companies, especially right now and like 
like coming forth uh, further in the future because K-pop has grown so much and gotten so out of proportion and so huge. Uh, most of these K-pop companies have like a base underline guideline for most of their trainees and most of their artists to be like at a certain par level in singing whatever your position may be whether you be like a dancer or a rapper or whatever you have to like cross that certain par level uh, of singing ability and vocal ability to get into the company and get into the group at least so most of these uh, members who are like main dancers or whatever or main uh, rappers are actually really pretty good singers and pretty like actually have really really hidden talent of their vocals which they actually don't get to like shine or get to show off because of the so called main vocalists in the group with excellent and outstanding vocals but like people like Soyeon from G Idol maybe or Moonbill from Mamamoo or like Gahyeon Dami both of them they probably have freaking insane vocals and they just have like are waiting to show us all of this through covers and through like some small parts in their songs in the group songs or whatever but i, I really enjoyed this this was a masterpiece Dami has as i said like a coarser voice a really really raw unfiltered kind of vocals which which is really actually kind of rare and kind of nice to see kind of neat to see and i really really enjoyed this really freaking awesome if you guys enjoyed this along with me please leave a like please subscribe to my channel for further reactions i'm a i'm a get down and like start reacting to more stuff i wanted to react to you know bokas i think they did a zombie version for boka but i actually acts not accidentally i kind of like was lazy and i had a lot of other reactions so i watched it on my own and it was a freaking awesome version it was like a nightmare zombie version halloween related and halloween theme when like last week it was halloween so i really really enjoyed dream catcher i'm a keep on further reacting to them so stay tuned for that subscribe for that and comment down below if you have any other suggestions for me i'm a definitely i'm willing to check that out and thank you so much for watching this with me i'll see you in another video peace